uh, only 33% of Black Lives Matter's 90 million in donations helped charitable, found, charitable foundations, according to this. I guess this is the chart here, how Black Lives Matter burned through most of $90 million in donations in two years. You know what? I mean, I know as, as much as I've hated on BLM and I'm critical of it, I kind of feel I kind of feel a way about the, the New York Post doing it. You know what I mean? It's like you aren't critical for the same reasons. Anyway, um, so to the extent this is true, uh, 90 million in donations in two years, 30 million went to grants to charitable foundations, 22 million went to expenses, which would include payments to the Black Lives Matter, um, um, what does the GNF stand for? Something fund, general national, fund, something, somebody will know. Board member uh, Shalomia, Bowers and her consulting firm. They got two point one million. Uh, Patrice Cullors, our brother's security firm, got one point six million. Trap Heels LLC, run by the father of Patrice Cullors' father, I mean, of child, uh, father of her child, was nine hundred and sixty nine thousand four hundred fifty nine dollars. Former board members consulting firm in connection with a contract dispute, 600000 and payment to former managing director Kaylee Scales, 115 or 114 and change thousand. Um, so that means 33% of nearly 90 million it received went, uh, only 33% went to the actual, to actual foundation, a global net, net, network foundation. That's what the GNF stands for. Um, and the group also gave a grant to one of its harshest, uh, one of its harshest former critics paying 400,000 to the Tamir Rice Foundation. Uh, I think that's just wild. That's and then wild. I just saw the story the other day where Patrice Cullors was let go from her, uh, was it Warner Brothers contract? And they were mm. under a dispute over what she did and did not. Thank you, Ear Doctor. What she did and did not um, produce in terms of content. Uh, I guess dancing, her dancing videos wasn't enough. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly don't. Here we go. This is your story here. Diagnosed with painful nerve condition, Sean King asks for help paying medical for medical procedures. All right. That size says a lot. <laughs> uh, journalist and social activist Sean King said in a new social media post that he's been diagnosed with a painful nerve condition that's left him unable to do some of the most basic actions without experiencing excruciating agony. Because he said his insurance won't cover the recommended treatment, the 43-year-old reached out to his more than 3 million followers on social media in an appeal to help him pay for the medical procedures. King said on Insta, oh man, man. King said on Instagram, in an Instagram post that he is suffering from a condition called occipital neuralgia, which he called the worst pain I've ever experienced in my adult life. He said it was the result of a lingering spinal injury he said he sustained more than two decades ago. Uh, at times it hurts to move my head in any direction. Uh, he wrote in a post, it can hurt to talk, chew, even blink my eyes. It can now hurt to touch my hair or even touch parts of my face. It's awful. Um, King has been dogged for years by unfounded allegations of scamming in an effort to line his pockets with online donations. Here is a tweet from Lee Merritt about Sean King, our brother, is suffering. So uh, feel free to look See, into that. And if you find it worthy, send him some money. No, don't send him no money. <laughs> just, just don't send him money. I mean, he just scammed people out of a book that he was supposed to write. Um, apparently, oh, really? he was supposed to write this book and it was supposed to be published, I think, last month. And so mm. I guess he you know, collected all the money beforehand this pre-sales that he does, he does it. This is what he does. He pre-sells everything. And then he, you know, he hypes all his stuff up. 
And then he isn't. I'm sorry. Sorry. Know, sorry. Go ahead. But I just think that that's just the interesting way. And then he collects all this money, and now he's asking for more money, right? And so he doesn't actually produce anything. And then in this case, he's got you know so much money for all this a dog for his family protection, and now he needs you know money for this. He's not insured. Exactly. He is. Well, well, is. the the way the article read, it's that he is insured, but they won't cover the this particular procedure. So I, I not knowing any of the details of his insurance or 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 what anything about the medical condition. I don't, I can't obviously speak on that, but that's what the article was saying. So it's not that he has no insurance; it's that the 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 insurance he has will not cover what he needs. Um, I gotta I gotta but I admit I, I'm with you. I'm with you. But I, I do admit my initial reaction, it is pulling on that that, you know, nobody who needs any health care should have to appeal for a, a cost in any way. So I always feel a little bit bad for that. But you're right. It is hard. I mean, it's hard to take him seriously. It's hard. to You know, he hasn't one of his projects he was claiming a couple of years ago, uh, something about something to deal with that would have overlapped with my own research interests. So it was something about a national boycott or something like that. And I remember it was the only time I ever tried to reach out to him to get clarity on the project and what it claimed it could do. And, he, and no one ever responded. Like I, I, like, and I tried, you know, as hard as I ever do when I want to reach out to somebody, you know, I was emailing and de, you know, tagging on Twitter or whatever else and doing, you know, contacting the office and all that other stuff. And nobody ever got back to me. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I kind of imagine they will. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, I just think that he, he has a history of that in, in multiple, um, areas. And I, I know like he, emer I know when he emerged, I always question his emergence in, in mm -hmm. media as far as like whether he was really reporting or benefiting from, you know, other alter ulterior motives, right? He left the New York Times and then now, now all of a sudden he's just been living his life grifting people. And I think it's at, at some point people have to realize that this is how he makes his money. Like he doesn't make his money, you right. know, doing any work for, for people, right? Like, I mean, following Bernie Sanders on a campaign is not what I consider, you know, any, any work for the people. And, um, and again, he's not even reporting at any major publication, um, even though he, you know, puts his I, I know he puts some stuff behind the paywall. I don't know if he's still doing it now that he's hurt and he can't move his head. But, uh, you know, he had his bougie clothing line. I've, I've seen it all. Uh, I did see that. And I saw it was like a fifty dollars, fifty dollars for that T-shirt with it was like a plain black T-shirt with one word on it or something like that. It was something very, very basic for 50 bucks. Uh, uh, yeah, it was like AOC bucks. did the same yeah. thing. Like, that's what they do. You know, these hand selected cotton materials that they try to claim or all organic. You know, like, what are we selling here? Well, you know, I think a lot of it is from that, that the, 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 the tree that produces all this fruit, the tree being uh, um, the, the run up to, 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 to Obama's first election where he was being redefined as a community activist. And with that help of rebranding what it means to be a community activist, there has, it seems like an, it, it has helped, it has greased the wheels of the machinery of producing nonprofit driven activism that makes everything else seem like lunacy on the left and irrelevant and not pragmatic and immature. Uh, uh, and allowed for from whether it's Black Lives Matter to Sean King and whatever else, it's it's a lot of what you were just describing. Erica had had provided us with.